Hello guys, um, welcome back to the Afrocentrist podcast. My name is Ejiro Osakede. You already know it, your energetic EJ, okay? And today on the Afrocentrist podcast, I have the privilege to be talking to Dr. Steven Akintayo. Hmm. Before now, we used to know him as the most sought after investments coach, but now he's that and a lot more, right? <laughs> it's not like, um, what would I call him now? The real estate guru of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> and the world, man. Yeah, we you go, know what I'm saying? We've gone global. global. <laughs> <laughs> and you are the podcast queen. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay. It, <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. So, guys, I mean, this is like a new and just in the spirit of birthday, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm just coming to you. I told you that this month of April, I'm going to be extra, like super extra, right? So, just accept me in my own extraness. Okay? When well, Ejiro use makeup, just know she's about <laughs> to blow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so it's not about me today. It's about my guest, Dr. Steven Akintayo. So I just want to ask, and I believe that in his sharing, you know, answers to these questions I'm going to be asking him, you are going to learn one or two things. Because, I mean, I've known Mr. Steven, Dr. Steven, sorry, for a while now. And it's just, it's just good to just kind of sit down in the corner and just watch this man and say, okay. So what's making this man think like there must be something here i've worked on a couple of his books almost 33 of them and so i've heard his story over and over and over <laughs> <laughs> and over and over again in every introduction of the of his books yeah. you know how he was born in maduguri tamboa is it tamboa road <laughs> And how he couldn't spell the word T-H-E till he was 13, right? And how he didn't sleep on a mattress until he was about seven years old or thereabouts. Ah, more than that. Was like 13, 13 maybe it was 13, 13 was before 13. he was able to sleep on a mattress. I also saw WC for the first time, 13. 13? What are clues that? So, he's come, his story is come, it has come from grass to mm. grace. True. That's a proper way to say it. But then, what I want to bring out of this discussion today is Dr. Steven, mm. on a personal level, on a yeah. personal development level, because this is one way I want to channel this podcast, yeah. um, the Afrocentrist podcast, to say, as much as I share the story of other people, mm. what we want to pull out of those stories is the power of self-development, of self-improvement. Absolutely. So I want to ask you today, let's talk around your top three self-improvement strategies. Mm. that has helped you from where you were to where you are now where you are now you're one of the biggest um um you know um real estate company in nigeria and now you have a branch in dubai and then you recently opened one in the u.s and i'm sure that you're still spreading your tentacles Mm. what are your top three personal development strategies that has helped you wow i'm I'm just trying to think over them I, i think the first is a lot in listening to books like so um, I recently realized that and, and this is a powerful to many of the great self-development books are on YouTube so the audio versions are there and when you leverage on the audio you even go further in terms of being able to consume, consume more materials because mm. you are able to multitask and, and listen and it sinks deeper even into your subconscious. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I invest that at least in a day, I, I, I load myself with at least one hour of motivational, mm. inspirational, educational uh, materials, at least one hour every day. The second is for my happiness, right? Because at my level, you are most times having to inspire people. Mm. People don't know invest. Is either I'm having to inspire my staff, or I have a seminar, I'm having to speak in public, or I'm now with my family and I still need to inspire them. Mm. So I'm always having to do something, and, and that has left me no room, little or no room, to be sad. 
Mm, because so, you have to be yes, there for other people. Exactly, or have mood swing. I, I don't even have the luxury of mood swing. Like, but do they come? They come, but you just have to. In fact, there are times where I go to the office and you, my peers are like, you know, you know, are you sad? What's going on? Because again, that's a, a job, right? To make sure I boss. So even when I'm not sad, maybe I'm trying to just meditate and think. That's why I'm not smiling. I'm happy to now have to say, okay, you know, <laughs> because mm. so I don't bother about, okay, ah, uh, okay, no day. You did I see people knock my door and like, it's a good time. So you kind of have to. So I spent another one hour listening to music. Music has a way of getting me excited. Mm. You know, I, mean, I do a lot of dancing now. I was about recording uh, a video before I even came. It was a worship song. Or, the one with Natalia Bassi and Chandler Moore. <laughs> and you know, while I was listening to that song, I just got into this gratitude mood. Mm. Inviting where you're coming from. Like, ah, this, you know, God is powerful, he's a mighty God, and mm. all that. Uh, you know, so that's another second strategy, which is. Getting music that gets you excited, that, that puts you in that gratitude mm. mood. Um, you know, and, and, and gratitude is a, is a money magnetizer. Mm. Hmm. Did you hear that? Yeah, gratitude <laughs> is a money magnetizer. Yes, yes. Please uh, unpack that for us. Like, yeah. what's the relationship between gratitude and money? What I, what I realize about making money is that people don't know that at a level, your ability to make money isn't that you need to work harder. Mm. No. It's just that people who have money needs to like you. Mm. And once they like you, almost anything you do with them it helps you make money. Mm. Not me, it might not even be directly. Yeah. They're but just, because you are in a mood of gratitude yeah, always, you yeah. attract people who have money. Yeah. And you're being attracted to them and just being around yes. them. Helps and you make money. Helps you make values. money because usually, let me give you a typical example. I, I, I met a billionaire in, in the US. Um, and then, you know, it's just myself. And I told him what uh, brought me to meet him. And he just liked my person. So, you know, we talked about doing something together. Mm. Now, he said, you know what? Let's do it. You know, whatever comes out of this day, you get 50%. Now, the funny thing about it is that it's not relying on my effort, but on his effort. Now, mm. Somebody who makes average of over a million dollars every day, when we do that deal, there's just no way. I love that explanation. This is an yeah. average of, at all, at all. At all, at all. At all. Hmm. You know, even if you make $50,000. Yeah, that means half of it. <laughs> damn cool. Right? So, you see how. It, but for that kind of person to agree to do something with me, that's where your joy needs to come. In. That's where your personality needs to come. It's not the day you have moved soon that you meet such people. Mm. <laughs> right? It's just so, which is now why you now want to kind of train yourself such so that. Always be in that exactly. space of gratitude. Yeah. Hey, in case you forgot. The quote is, gratitude is a magnetizer of money. Yes. It does. So, you need to be able to put systems in place yeah. around yourself so mm -hmm. that you are always in a place of gratitude. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Third one. The third strategy is my family. Right? So, I always create family moments. Vacation, going to watch movie. Let's say I got to Nigeria the last time. I remember, you know, I told my wife, go on, go on. Hey. So I do international vacation for my wife, then I do national vacation. So I know I send that sometimes compulsory vacation because I know she's been tired doing her business, the children. So I was living with the kids for three days. So me and them went to watch a movie. It was such a daddy and children time, you know, watching movie. Of course, they have their wallet and the kids are <laughs> a handful. But that creates really special memories. You know? mm. and, 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 and keeps you in that place. You, you know that, look, 
even if you don't have a reason to work hard, you know your family is one of those reasons because a good man lives a head as my children's children. You know mm. their, their ability to build wealth and that when you are able to raise a good family, it becomes a transgenerational one. Uh, and, and family has a way of giving you some joy, some excitement. Mm, my daughter is just, the energy of my daughter is times 10 of my energy. Like she's just something else. So, but what if somebody is watching it or listening to this and they're like, I'm not a family person yet, so how do yeah, I do that? You, before I got married, was my brother. Mm. You know, going with to my siblings and we, we were beneath where we were coming from, just, you know, and, uh, everybody has some family. Some sometimes is adopted. My, like for me, my mother is late, but I got a replacement, an adopted mother mm. that gives me the same feeling. That's right? Uh, yes, I have an adopted mother in Solari. I would say the same thing my mom does. Mm. Like plenty prayer. Like of course challenging you to be great. Like speaking into your life. Mm. And, 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 and just giving you, oh, my son has come, you know, you just, the creation of that. So I think everybody can create their world as mm-hmm. long as you're open up. The challenge many of us are closed up. Like, if it's not my biological family, that is, they are not family. Then mm-hmm. they are not family. I mm-hmm. mean, you, you've been away from your family for a while now. And I'm sure you've created that same. Ooh, I don't even know family. how I would have survived. Exactly. <laughs> you've been like years now. Why do I, I mean, I've seen you at meeting with you with your old roommates and, and sometimes you could see how you've created that family again uh, in Dubai. And, 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 and so family is everywhere. It's not always biological. Mm. Um, but you can always find a way to create that family experience. And uh, But it's part of the way to stay inspired, stay motivated, develop yourself. You see, from all the things that Dr. Steven has shared right now, first, he said, you know, audiobooks. <laughs> Second, he said, music. Yeah. And then third, he said, family. Yeah. Everything that he mentioned are things that you need to do yourself, that you have control over, yeah. right? I'm just trying to pull it together for you yeah. in case you're like, where are we going? Where are we coming from? We're coming from what are three, what are his top three self-improvement strategies yes. that has brought him to where he is. But also what I hear again is you're an auditory learner. Yeah. Did you know that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so you see, when you see people that have read one million books, it's not always <laughs> books. It's not always physical True. books. You can listen True. to books and it actually helps. Like, I mean, yeah. I've listened to Secret in, of the Millionaire Mind now, week, like, a, like three a, times. And I'll still listen yeah. to it again because I, I want to sit yeah. on that in book, right? You can, you can read three books. Yes, if, if you are doing listening. audio. Yeah, yes. Yes. If doing audio with... yes, because no matter how long it is, let's even say, like Secret of the Millionaire is about, about maybe like five hours or seven hours long. Yeah. But before you know it, if I'm going out, for example, my commuting is going to be like exactly. two hours. That's two hours gone. That's what people like. understand. <laughs> how we waste time, eh? Hmm. You know? Yeah. Yeah. The way time flies. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope that this has been helpful for you. Three strategies again that Dr. Steven shared with us is number one, read. And if you can't find time enough to read, listen. So listen to books. And if you, in case you missed it, he mentioned YouTube. There are a lot of resources there. So you can't say, oh, I don't have money to buy a book. But if you have money to get data and you have a smartphone, Buy. Then you don't have an excuse. Book you but also buy, buy books. The book you must buy is called the, the Billionaire Mindset. Ha! Ah, coming soon, yeah. By Stephen Hawking. Woo! <laughs> well, yeah, you can is it Billionaire one. Mindset or Habit of Billionaire? It's Billionaire Habits. Yes, Billionaire Habits. Oh, yes. you must get that. Billionaire Habits billionaire by habits. Stephen Akintayo. You must get that book. Loaded. Hmm. It is loaded. Loaded. So it's already on pre-order now. Yes. Yeah, it's already on pre-order. I'm going to put the link. It has the audio, the video, and the text. It gives you all. So you have all the options. So there's the audio, there's the video, and then the the ebook and the art cover as well. So um, I'm going to add the link to this video and to this podcast, so you can get your copy of the Bologna Habits by Stephen Akintayo, and also you can also check out resources. In fact, I'm going to. 
you know, add all his links. So Sabina Kintyre has a lot of <laughs> links, right? Oh. To his university, yeah. to his real estate business. If you want to be a broker under his real estate business, whether in Nigeria or in Dubai, and probably hopefully in, in, in US, you can just be a part of that. So if you don't even understand what a real estate broker is, you can find out from there because they have training available to teach you what it means to be a broker and how you can be a broker for GTEx Homes. Okay, so like he's a bundle of resources. That's what I can say, right? So I'm going to put the links to all of the resources on this video and also on the podcast um, um, channel. So thank you so much, Dr. Steven. Before we round this off, what last one last thing that you have to say to people who are going to watch or listen to this? Well, um, I, I, I think one of the things that I've realized in recent times was, for example, if you look, if you watch The Secret, there's a video called The Secret teaching you about the law of attraction. attraction. One mistake that I saw in that, in that, by the way, law of attraction is real, but was that they never emphasized the fact that just imagine it alone is mm. not going to make you wealthy. Taking massive action, action. is actually what's going to bring that success. I've imagined or having offices all over the world. But I needed to leave Nigeria and come <laughs> to Dubai and to the US. I've imagined running trainings and seminars all over the world, but I needed to come to Dubai and organize my first seminar that nobody showed up. I have seen myself uh, hosting other great speakers. I've had to fly down to Atlanta to meet Les Brown and say, I need to speak to me. Fly down to Miami to meet Grand Cada and say, I need to. Okay. So the reality is these dreams that you have, these things can come to pass. Hmm. But there's still a place of massive action. There's still that place of I have to do my part. I have to take steps. I have to do things to attract those things that I desire. Actions have to be taken. And so as beautiful as all we've said, it's if you don't go on YouTube right now and die yeah. now, not I will do it tomorrow. Now, 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 right now. Just <laughs> carry the laptop. We are YouTube. Um, think and go rich. We are start listening. You just money Babylon, right? You, you, that's how you started. Mm. That's how you started. So massive action. Love you, Baba. Fantastic. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Till I come here again next week with another exciting surprise and another guest talking about something that will help you be a better version of yourself in the space of self-improvement and self-development. Mm -hmm. It's your girl, the energetic EJ, saying have a fantastic week and weekend. But please, before I leave, remember my birthday is on Sunday, okay? My birthday is on Sunday. I'm still accepting gifts, though. Clubhouse is calling my name. I need an iPhone, guys, and I'm calling it for this yes, is my true. this is me taking an You're action. Not clubhouse. I am not. I don't have iPhone. I am not. So see, they somebody even invited me. Like, oh, I, I saw here. I want to. I want to. I'm like, uh, I'm joining Clubhouse soon. <laughs> Please, guys, yeah, don't let that invitation to go to a waste. Clubhouse. Okay. Yeah. So, guys, until I come next week. Remain amazing. I love you. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.